Hey, welcome to the Gamer Dad Arclus channel, where I play a lot of games in my retro backlogs collection. Hey, if I can make time for it, so can you. I've got some updates in regards to my channel. As you probably know, I started this retro backs uh, series to prepare myself for the Nintendo Switch because I don't know a lot about Nintendo IPs outside of Mario and Zelda. The latter by which I knew only from the Saturday morning cartoons. Full disclosure, I was a Sony fanboy during the two decades of the PlayStation 1 and 2, then switched to PC mobile gaming afterwards. Never did pay attention to Nintendo prior to the release of the Switch, and I realized I missed out a lot on all their fantastic games for almost three decades. So I had to dig deep and get a lot of retro systems like the Wii, the Wii U, uh, a couple of 3DS and the DSi. But I haven't gone through half my backlogs yet, but I couldn't wait any longer. So if you've noticed on my back right there, already got a switch two in fact a light <laughs> and a regular switch version two so anyway that's a funny story what happened there i actually got the light first because i thought i'll just use it for myself for my own enjoyment and then i found the screen too small so i tried a couple of things as a solution i even tried tech yesterday's diy solution to projecting the switch light on your tv screen it didn't produce a satisfying outcome with its deteriorated graphics even on an iPhone camera and that lag that will kill you on Mario Kart or Smash Bros. So, so I ended up selling my wife's limited edition Pokeball 2DS XL to help finance a set switch. So I finally got my regular switch a week ago and with that a couple of I bought a couple of games with it and what you might see here are the must-haves uh, like of course uh, the Breath of the Wild uh, what else uh, Mario Odyssey of course Mario Kart 8 and Smash Brother and from that oh yeah I still can't afford the Pro Controller so I'm still using <laughs> the Joy-Con grip I tell you all, right now it's pretty good I can't complain that much I know it's not as good as Pro Controller but I'm saving up for it. You know, Switch accessories are pretty expensive. So what does that mean with my channel? I'm going to rush through my retro backlogs. I've eliminated a lot of inessential Nintendo games right there, like Star Fox, Adventure. Also, if I don't enjoy a game, I won't continue playing it because I have a lot of backlogs to go through and I don't have time to waste on anything that I don't particularly enjoy. Such was the case with, with the Zelda 2 game I reviewed a couple of months ago. I didn't enjoy it, I didn't finish it, so I move on to the next. And not only that, even those uh, third-party exclusive Nintendo games like Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, I've eliminated it because I've heard from other reviewers that it wasn't even that good and multiplayer is not even really feasible even back in the GameCube days that brings us to Zelda Four Swords if you're new to the channel this retro back series is where I take a look at some classic games often considered retro or at least one or two console generations older than the present one and assess if it's still good enough to play in this day and age okay so back to Four Swords Adventure I really wanted to play the Zelda games in chronological order and because I skipped to the first two NES games after diminished cap, this game was long overdue. I had high expectations for this game coming in since it reused assets from Capcom's wonderful Minish Cap and if you've watched my video reviewing that game, I adore it and it was the perfect intro for me to the 2D Zelda games. To tell you honestly, when I played this initially solo by the Anniversary Edition on my DSi, I was kinda let down. It didn't have a rich backstory like the previous Zelda games I played and I think this was just focused on puzzles rather than a sprawling adventure. I guess they have the Oracle of Ages as inspiration when they developed this game. Solo mode in this game is pretty janky as you control two links and you switch between them most of the time and that mechanic is not enjoyable. I played with my daughter on her 2DS and found it much more enjoyable and I guess that is what this game is designed for, multiplayer cooperation. But 
I have this gripe with this game and any other succeeding games with the same nature in the mainline Zelda series like Four Swords Adventures and Triforce Heroes. And it is why the developers thought of creating multiple links. That just thinks of laziness in creating assets or sprites. There are a lot of characters created for the Zelda universe over the years and only took Hyrule Warriors several years later to show that these other characters are quite enjoyable to play. For a series called The Legend of Zelda, players don't get many chances to play as the titular princess. So far the only title in the main series where Zelda is playable is 2009 Spirit Tracks on the Nintendo DS, and she does it as a dead person, come on. Princess Peach is not even the titular character in the Mario games, but she was already playable as early as Super Mario Bros. 2, and even starred in her own game on the DS while Zelda was just relegated to consistently being the damsel in distress. Talk about being backwards there. So here is my dilemma with this game. You can only find enjoyment when it is played with others, and since my kid does have school and will limit her gaming to the weekends, it was not feasible for me to finish this game with her. To be fair, I wouldn't even rate this game since I haven't even gotten halfway to it, or at least spent enough time playing like 4 to 5 hours like I did with Zelda 2. So, would I just uh, recommend it to someone? Or anyone? Maybe if you have a DSi or 3DS, because that is the easiest way to play this with others, and only if you can find someone to play with that will commit to it like you do. Otherwise, just skip it like I did. I would also be skipping Four Swords Adventure and Triforce Heroes for the same reason. So on the next Red Callbacks episode, I will replace this with another 2D Zelda game before I dive into the legendary 3D duo of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So I will sink my teeth on The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you stay tuned for the next episodes. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe!